Duid, you cannot enter here. It is the dwelling of the Tierna Hakkadaktas. Very well. I'll be on my way. Good day. I'm looking... What are you doing here? You are in a hidden village, a sacred village. The Renaixia have no place here. I seek an audience with the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tierna Hakadaktus. Do you know where I can find her? The Tierna is in her home. She goes, she comes as her heart desires. Only her Voglendaig must know. And if I knew where she was, it's not me who is going to tell her Renaixia. Go away, leave me alone now. I have much to do. The Great Hunt is coming. You spoke about a great hunt. What is it? A sacred ceremony, of course. How in your countries do you honor your lands and assure their abundance? Well, uh, it's a bit... Your Nikes are very strange. It is no wonder that you come to our lands. If you do not honor the land with the great hunt, you must lack game to hunt. Each year, one of our own, our best hunter, dresses up as the Andrik. He becomes the White Andrik during an entire night, and the others hunt him. If he escapes them, the game will be abundant, and the gathering fruitful during the entire year. It is a very important celebration. Please, now, I wish her no harm. I just need to speak with her. You speak well and say pretty things, but it is by your doings that you will be judged. Then, in that case, tell me what I can do. Hmm. There is much to be done in this season. And Pedir, the great gatherer, has not returned from the woods. Very well. Would you like me to go and get him? That would be good. Bortir to Madre Uh, good day. I seek the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tierna Harkadachtas. I have no idea what you want with her, but no one in the village will tell her Renaixe where to find her. I do not seek to harm her, only to speak with her. I don't know where she is. Her Voglandaig might know, but I think he will tell you nothing. You are in one of the most sacred villages of our lands. The Renaixe are not welcome here, and we are busy making ready for the Great Hunt. Maybe I could help you with something. Help us? Hmm. Why not, after all? It would speak well of your intentions. During the Great Hunt, we place bells on the path to keep the animals away. During the last hunt, there was a great storm. And the bells were badly damaged. Would you like me to repair them? That would be good. If not, we need to make new ones, and I am afraid we will not have the time.
Hello. Are you Padilla? People in the village are worried about you. Es quito. Arenaixi. That I. I know no more if I am what you say. In truth, I fear being dust, waiting to settle on the earth. What has happened to you? Why such despair? My eyes have clouded. I see no more, nothing at all. I was once the great gatherer. But by the devil, why have they sent a blind man to gather herbs? No one knows. I said nothing to them. I know my village so well that I do not need to see to wander through it. But I can no longer gather the herbs of the sacred dye. I know they are here in these woods, but I cannot find them. This is absurd. Here you are, lost in the woods, unable to find the herbs that you must gather. You don't think that you should speak to someone? If I tell them I have lost my eyes, they will sit me down on a stone near the hearth. And then I would only serve to tell stories to children. I, the great gatherer, the only person to know these secret places where the sacred plants blossom. Very well. Can you tell me which plants you need? If you are certain that they are somewhere in this patch of woods, it won't be difficult. But how am I to guide you? The names we give to these plants are not the same as the names you give them. Describe them to me. I think I'll find them. One is a blue flower, the other a green mushroom, and the last ingredient is a blackberry. Very well. Don't go anywhere. I'll take care of it. I'm back, Padir. Yes? I found the herbs that you were looking for. Here. Thank you. You are good for a renaic say. I did not know your kind bore souls such as you. I may return to the village now. I will tell them that you're on your way there. Thank you again. Uh, but I ask you, do not tell them what you have learned about me. I do not wish that they treat me like a broken cripple. Goodbye, Padir. Seeing where it's been hung, it isn't surprising that these chimes are making no sound. They're far too low and can't catch the wind.
Let's take a look at these chimes. Hmm. Its base is damaged. The wooden tubes can no longer hit each other. We will need to craft a new base. Child's play. I'll help you if you want. Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? I don't have time now. Can it wait a while? Anything else? I must leave you.
Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? But of course, let's go. I see you seek to give position to your protege. And I thought it was only one's valor in combat that had any worth. Valor? I know he has plenty. But loyalty is also rare and is equally important. Excellency, it is an honor. Oh, 
it's you, on old Menawi. Bertir to mad, on old Menawi. Do you want to? Always be welcome here. Oh, it's you, on old Menawi. Come and see. Oh, you have seen beautiful things from our village. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service. Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D, with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, sh should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Greenblood, do you need something? I must leave you. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found. Drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you.
Can I help you with something? We are here concerning the matter of Recruit Rayner. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain, I cannot allow that. To be quite frank, we're leaving you no choice. I doubt that you'll be able to stop my friend from doing what he wants, and today he's driven by sadness. And when he's of sad sorts, the slightest frustration can turn that melancholy into a rage. And alas for you, he's quite violent when he's in a rage. You... you wouldn't dare! I've been appointed by the Elder of the University of... Quite violent. I... Very well. Do as you see necessary. Beasts. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. This doesn't look like the body of young Rayner. This doesn't look like the body of young Rayner. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rayner. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. The body hasn't swelled, nor is it blue. It doesn't look like a drowning to me. On the other hand, it does seem clear that he's been beaten. There are numerous bruises and fractures. His skull has been crushed. But his hands are intact. He's died from his wounds, and there is no sign that he defended himself. Are you trying to tell me he was beaten to death? Who would do something like that to a kid? I have no idea. But some of the wounds are older. Training can be trying sometimes. But this, I've never seen the likes. Let's have a word with the doctor. He's lying and must know more.
Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. Because you are. I cannot allow you... And who are you, ma'am? Afra. My name might be known to you. Your conclusions are so absurd and obviously mistaken that the question of your competency arises. Unless this is all some sort of a joke, your sense of humor in that case would be even worse than your knowledge in medicine. I... You are right. I am truly sorry. I... I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. This pains me, Kurt. The Doctor is a disgrace to the profession. You have my heartfelt condolences for the boy. Thank you, Afra. Can I help you with something? That is all. Thank you. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rayner didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas, and who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rayner assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th, before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Good day, Lieutenant. My lord? 
You're one of the governor's confidants, are you not? Indeed. De Sade, the governor's legate. My sincere pardon, Excellency. I didn't want to show any disrespect. Captain? Lieutenant? How can I help you? To which company do you belong? The 8th. We're responsible for city security. Some of the men of this company are under my orders, charged to protect the palace. I'm personally in charge of the port and the surrounding streets. When I'm not on leave, that is. Are you also in charge of criminal matters? Investigations? No, Excellency. But an officer of my company is in charge. Anything else? We seek information concerning a young recruit, a certain Rayner. Rayner? Sorry, name isn't familiar to me. He must be with another company. Are you sure about that? This is an important matter. I'm certain, Captain. Was he family to you? I recruited him. You know what that's like. The boy was killed and then tossed in the bay. I want the head of whoever's responsible. I did hear talk of a young lad found in the port waters. That's my sector. But I was told that it was an accident, and I had no reason to doubt it. Are you sure the lad was murdered? Absolutely certain. Beaten to death, to be precise. Well, that's horrible. But I don't know anything about it. Too bad. Thank you, all the same. Goodbye, Lieutenant. How can I help you? We seek information concerning a young... Rena. I did, but I was told that... Are you sure that... Absolutely so. That's horrible. Too bad. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for information concerning a young recruit going by the name of Rayner. Sorry, there's nothing but soldiers here. With a few sailors. Well, one recruit or another. It's half a dozen of one, six of the other to me. You should just try talking to them yourself. You got yourself quite a selection. Excellency. I saw you in the palace, if I'm not mistaken. Your Excellency has a good eye and memory. I am one of the officers in charge of the protection of your cousin's counselors. How can I help you? We are investigating the death of a young recruit, a certain Rayner. I've never heard the name before. He's not one of my men. I know. But you might at least have heard someone mention him in passing. Did he die at the palace? No. We have no idea where it happened, only where the body was found. So? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That doesn't ring any bells. None at all. Since you know who I am, you must know that lying to a legate is a very bad idea. I know, Your Excellency. And believe me, I would never dream of lying to you. I would sincerely like to help you, but this is the first time I've heard anything about the affair. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lord. De Sade, legate of the congregation on Tier Fredi. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah. Yes, sir. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago. But at the beginning, we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene. But I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? 
I sure do. That's why I joined the... I do. Anything else? Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that... I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rayner? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And then, poof, Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful, she's got a strong bite. Hello, Your Excellency. Sadly, I cannot stay in chat. Please express my... Sadly, I cannot stay in chat with you. I am expected elsewhere. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Could you tell me which company you serve? The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rayner. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know, but this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes, of course, but you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. <sighs> Anything else? Are you sure that you can't help us? Something terrible has befallen the poor boy. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting left... So just stop with... You know what they say? And concerns... I... If you have so... Don't you believe he does... Yes. But you have no... Come back after some... Very well. <sighs> Anything else? Thank you, Lieutenant. Fe Shakes, cold sweats, dilated pupils. That man was not acting, Kurt. His fear is real. I saw it too. That's why we're gonna play his game.
Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you. The best forge and... Oh, it's a great pleasure. One armor that fits you like a glove, we'll make it for you. 